Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we will be dry cutting a long layered curly haircut with curly curtain bangs, maintaining maximum length whilst adding volume and dimension to the shape. In the next 10 minutes, you will master the basics of dry cutting curly hair texture. The structure of this haircut is the same as cutting your standard wet long layered haircut. However, the process and how we section, the tension and how we cut the hair is different. We start with taking one to two inch thick sections. I am only combing through the ends of the hair. I place tension on the section directing down. When you see the majority of the hair density bounce back up, use your comb to back comb the hair up and simply remove the remaining length. This maintains maximum length whilst removing any longer curls that would normally drop lower than your cutting line. If I was reducing the length of this haircut, I would cut to the desired length and then do this process to cross check and refine my curly cutting line. For an example, if my client wanted a bob haircut, I would remove the length in one or two big sections and then I'd repeat this process to refine. This first section becomes our guide. We continue to take large sections, repeating this process until we complete our curly cutting line. If you'd like to master cutting your one length line haircuts, watch the link above and let me know what you think. When cutting curls, we want to create graduation in our lines to encourage curl activation. Hence, why we take thicker sections. You can choose to point cut your line for more texture and softness or club cut to maintain a little more weight in your line. If your client wanted a classic one length haircut, I would continue this process throughout the whole haircut. In future tutorials, I will teach you how to remove bulk and create texture without compromising the curl or the shape of the haircut. This process is amazing in all curly hair textures. Once you know the dry cutting process, you can apply it to all your favorite hair cutting shapes from pixies, shags, and bob haircuts. We now start the layering process, taking a thick center profile section. Using the length from the occipital bone area as my guide, I cut triangular layers, creating seamless, long layers. You will notice I am directing the section with low tension. My scissors are cutting from underneath my section, not on top. This allows the hair to be cut with low or no tension, creating maximum graduation, movement and texture. This process will prevent frizz from occurring as the weight of the section is cut to increase volume, giving frizz or the shorter lengths of natural regrowth, a place to live. I take a guide from the back section, elevating my side sections up to meet the guide, and I simply cut a square layer, continuing to take large thick sections until we run out of hair. We then refine the haircut with personalizing. When curly haircut is stretched wet and cut like straight hair, the weight of the haircut sits flatter and lower, giving the shorter lengths of regrowth nowhere to live, hence creating frizz. Be sure to visualize your shape when cutting curls. Curls create such fabulous graduation that you can really see visually what you're achieving. We now refine our layers with this top secret tip. This process is an absolute game changer. We take sections over directing until we see the bulk of the hair bounce back. The same as when we were cutting our line. And then we simply remove the remaining length. Removing this weight will create even more expansion in the haircut and curl texture, creating stunning curls and incredible haircut that grows out beautifully. We continue this refining process until moving on to our curly curtain bangs. 
If you'd like to learn and master your dry cutting skills so you can cut super cool curly shags, mullets, bobs, be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch this dedicated playlist. It includes everything you need to know to master lived in texture and master dry cutting for all curly hair textures. The link is above and in the bio below. You won't regret taking the time to master all of these amazing cutting techniques. If you're serious about building a curly hair texture clientele, this playlist is just for you. This is an amazing process to use with our one length line haircuts to create minimal movement. It's great for those clients who want movement, but they don't want layering. If you have learned something new or appreciate my work, please hit the like and subscribe icons and show your support to my channel. I spend my days off from work creating these tutorials and I'm so happy to see so many of you value and continue to support all of my hard work. We now zone out the fringe section. I take horizontal sections, directing the section around my client's head shape before cutting. This will help to create an elongated cutting line, creating an amazing triangular shape that works around the client's natural head shape. Every section is directed to the first until we complete both sides. I learnt this curtain bang shape studying at Sassoon's Academy in London and I use this technique almost every day on the salon floor. I'm taking a guide from the length of my curtain bangs to gently slice some soft face framing, gently opening and closing my scissor whilst directing my scissor down towards the floor. We have now completed the dry cutting process. The curl pattern has been completely combed through, creating a lived in rock and roll hairstyle. I also think it's fun to show your clients what their curl pattern looks like brushed out. We now wash our client's hair and prepare for the diffuse styling. I have prepared the hair with sea salt spray and a small amount of styling cream. I'm now cradling the hair whilst diffuse drying. This will encourage maximum curl while supporting her natural curl pattern, creating a more natural looking finish. This is my basic dry cutting long layered haircut with curly bangs. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and watch this one next.